Let's get started. Hey everyone! I I th I think I'm ready for an LP. I think like something longer than Mario World. Uh, l let's give it a go. We are going to. And by the way, the collection of mana is pretty sweet. It's a little overpriced at forty bucks, but I mean it's cheaper than that now. But I love the like all these games, like Adventure the least of which, but I mean it's still cool. Um, Final Fantasy Adventure being actually second to Setsu one, which is actual which. Secret of Mana being uh, second in Sensei 2, right? Which this is what we'll be playing today. And this is Trials of Mana, which is uh, second in Sensei 3, or as we called it for a while, Secret of Mana 2. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's a little weird, but um, this is getting the, the Secret of Mana remake treatment uh, this coming spring. Uh, and it looks great. Like, I can't wait for it. Lots of people complained about the, the Mana remake. I thought it was fine. The biggest thing they complained about was the music. And I'm just like, you guys know you can use you can use the original soundtrack, right? You, th that is an option in that. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess people always complain about something. I sympathize with that to an extent. Uh, Henrique, is that too loud? Because it's... It's loud in my headset, but thinking I do have the TV turned up a little bit. Never mind. Okay, if the mixing's fine, I'll take your word for it. Right then, let's get started. Secret of Mana. Now, some of these games will actually change a little bit based on which version you're playing. I, I want to show that off real quick. Okay, so this is Final, Final Fantasy Adventure here, right? Okay, load it up in English. Old school Game Boy. Okay, it's Final Fantasy Adventure, right? Makes sense, we know that. Now, turn into title menu. I think we can do it from this menu, but... Now let's load the UK version. Wait for it. What? Mystic Quest? That's not Mystic Quest! Except that's what it was called over there. I forget what our Mystic Quest was called over there, but yeah. Over there, it's Mystic Quest. Meh. It, whoops. That's not what I meant to press. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a cool little thing. Yeah, again, I, c I could be... I think I said this off-camera. I, I could be playing an emulated version of this, but I like the little sidebars. I mean, some of it's going to be cut off anyway if I was playing on an emulator. Well, usually anyway. But, so, whatever. This, this keeps a more proper aspect ratio. Oh, I should have let the beginning th thing play. Oh, well, whatever. Let's get started. <clears throat> Um, I used to just, I used to just name the heroes whatever, oh, it's, that's right, it's B to enter, oh. Oh, this is gonna fuck me up. Now, I usually name, the, you know, the characters after people I knew, or whatever, and after a while I just started naming them Boy, Girl, and, uh, Popoy, or, uh, uh, Sprite. But then, like, it's only recently that I learned their actual names. It's Randy is the boy, Prim is the girl, and Popoy is the Sprite. And I never realized that the girl had ears, so she's an elf? Question mark? Oh, no, this is the intro thing. Using the power of mana, a civilization has grown strong. I can skip this if I want, I think. But I'm not going to. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war racked the world, and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. 
Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. I was so impressed by this game back in the day. Hey guys, wait up! Ah, this kid is such a dork. <laughs> Shh, be quiet, the other fires in here will be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. <laughs> Do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Help, I'm falling! <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, our hero. Ow. That's pretty shallow water. That would not have cushioned you. Ouch. Phew. Now we need to get back up. What am I going to do? Okay, so... What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Uh, I can't open the menu yet. I was going to change my controls. You just kind of glide around. The way they run is weird. Randy! Randy! Woo! Hmm? Oh, I can use the analog stick if I want. The analog stick actually works okay for this because of the way you, you move. It, it just feels okay. The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Just walk over it, you puss! Well, I guess I can take the sword. That's right, B is... Randy, remove the sword! Ooh. Oh, who are you? And what's the sword doing here? Oh, got it. Ow, that light. So bright, I can't see. Ah, a g -g 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 ghost! <laughs> Randy, it is I who has the sword. <laughs> Say what? You mean this sword? Where's the sword dingbat? Brain light is gone in an instant. I have to get back. Bye. Um what's the... Can I access the menu yet? Whoa, what's a rabbit doing in a place like this? You mean this cute, fluffy animal that barely does anything? Ugh. Now, when you attack, your meter charges up down there. Uh, your attack won't be at full strength unless you let it get to 100%. This prevents you from just, like, spamming and whatnot. Now, sometimes you can spam just to stun lock an enemy. Sometimes that actually works, but, you know. Menu? How do I access the menu? <laughs> this control seems kind of weird. I bought this a long time ago at a garage sale. I mean, the original hard copy I had. I don't know where the hard copy is now. I'm so sad that I've apparently lost it. I paid like a cool... Did I pay 20 for it? I think I paid 20 for this and like 10 for Final Fantasy Legend 2 at a garage sale. Especially for a garage sale, but I mean... At the time it was, it was totally worth it. Hell, I'd pay 20 bucks for this now, but it's always nice when you can get cheaper. So for now, so this is actually a, th it, it can be a three-player game if you wanted to. It's one of those games that actually made use of the multi-tap on SNES. Which, uh, me and my friends never had a multi-tap, so we don't want to play two-player. I 
we were always either a uh, uh, boy or sprite because nobody wanted to be the, the girl because of, uh, you know, she's like, oh, she's the hero, that's, got, that's boring. Which I'd be fine doing that nowadays, but back then we were like, no, we want to nuke stuff or we want to hit stuff really hard. Although I did play girls sometimes just because uh, back then I was a big fan of Cleric and D&D. Candy! Sometimes, so enemies can randomly drop uh, treasure chests, but sometimes they're just like traps, <laughs> which is really trolly. Ow. Eh. This is a game that I've been meaning to do for years, like ever since I started the channel back in like 2011. I kept saying, I should do Secret of Mana sometime. I absolutely love Secret of Mana. Like, I, I like Chrono Trigger more, but even then, only slightly. This ha this has a number of advantages over Chrono Trigger, in that it's, it's kind of fun as an, uh, an action RPG. It's a little more skill-based, but just a little bit. It's not that hard of a game, although there are some fairly annoying bosses. Now, some of the earliest ones are super annoying. Mantis Ant, Tropicalo. At least it can be. You get healed after a um, level up, so that's cool. Did you see, see that, Randy? I made it to go to something left the sky near the falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. Why can't I access the menu? Oh wait, this that's right, that's how you do it. Oh my god. It's it's clearly been a while. Dash, okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather do it that way. Oops. I can't believe I forgot how uh, this worked. Let's see. There's quite a few windows uh, frames to pick from. I want to say, it's, yeah, it's that one I, I like the best. Oops. That's good. Let's check that out real quick. Ah, uh, it's a little too bright. That's probably fine. Is there something with a more solid background? It doesn't look right. Maybe I can just change it to black. Let's see what stands out better. Hey, Randy, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Oh, my. It does the awful well. I don't know if it'll be a wicked finish, but it looks like an interesting option for an LP. Yeah, it is, in my, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game is... Um, it, it, it's going to be a while. This is going to be several hours. And not doing it all in one day. Randy, you're not hurt. Just tell me what happened. 
Change my voice in a little bit. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots! Why don't you talk about the girl there? Huh? Randy? What's that you have? Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? Way to go! What have you done? You, how could you have pulled down the mana sword? It's impossible! The mana sword? That's how our village is finished. If the, sword's if the sword is removed, hey, here it is! It is said the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it! That's why all the monsters are attacking us now! Hey, butthead! I kind of agree with the voices now. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Ugh. 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 Fight me! Hey, bro! Hey, stop it! You did it! Ugh. It's your fault, bro! You! Please stop! Ah, earthquake! Butthead! Hi, Gemma. Help! Uh, monster! You have a sword, don't you? Use it! Uh. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Watch out, the monster moves before attacking. Ow. I'm not sure what he's trying to say there, honestly. There's no need there's no need to heal, you'll get healed back up, but yeah, you get your ass kicked pretty easily in this. In this fight anyway. Dead. Hang on, I'll help you! Clean your mind, play to have 100% power, and aim carefully. Mantis Sand is, like, really tough. I mean, if you try to do it without... Well, okay, I say it's... Tough without the... Ow. Does a lot of annoying stuff. Ugh! Stop it! I have a charge attack now. So, that, so you, you not, in addition to your normal levels, you can actually level up your weapon skill and your um, magic skill as well. And those are raised just by using them. Oi! Prick. Dying a bunch. Egg. That first boss is a little too strong. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to use candies, but like, why? When you, if you know it in advance that you don't have to. Sword's orb. What are that for? You did it. Right there. I'll pull you up. Whoa! That appears to be the real man sword. Huh? What? It's supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Someone must have something must have happened to the man sword. Here, it's yours. Sorry, but the sword is losing its power. It must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Randy, the owner wants you in his house. Well, I have to be off. Oh, my name is Gemma. 
I'll wait for you inside the water palace. Bye. Uh-oh. Outer, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Randy. You've really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. And so, we can't let Randy stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go! Get out of here. Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. Well, just getting booted out just like that. Eh. Whoops. Fifty bucks. That's it. Heading out. See you later. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you. But now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Randy. Bummer. Remember I've been here? Yeah. Use the southeast exit. Go down before something else happens. We're in danger as long as you're here. Please leave. I've lived here for 16 years, you jerks. You're just gonna kick me out like this? Get some pointy sticks or something. I feel sad, but there's nothing I can do. It's your fault. Use the southeast exit. Go down before something else happens. We do have an item shop. I'm only selling you stuff because the, the elder ordered it. What will it be? Why well, wouldn't you sell it to him anyway? I mean, you might as well. Uh, oh, okay, that's how I exit out. Canceling out is weird. Mm -hmm. Give me a bandana. Eh, I don't need that. Okay, it's two more armor. It's not much, but it's something. Another reason I chose to uh, play this game is that there's not too much talking in it, so, you know, I can... I'm not going to get worn out just talking. Have everything you need? Uh, yes. You are here by Bash from Pose Village. Now get out of here. You can't actually get back into that village later via uh, a glitch. Uh, I don't know if it was just shoving against him or what. Uh, I think it has something to do with the... like. It was something that showed Nintendo Power a long time ago. Like, something to do with the flaming drum also. Or, wait, no, the only way to get out if, if you get back in is uh, the flamey drum. Now, what we have over here... Hey, Zappa, how's it going? This is Cannon Travel. Hi, we, the Cannon Travel Brothers, are building a global network. Going to the White House, Gemma's already left. Hey, page away, too. Hop in. No, thanks. We gotta walk to the White House, head west. Yeah, it literally launches you out of a cannon. That's sort of your fast travel around the world, this cannon travel. But we're going to beat up stuff and get some XP and some 
monies. Maybe some loot. Oh, you got a cross ray? There you go. Nice. I'll check it out if I'm around, but I'm not keen on the selection of Gundam series in that one. The, the last uh, SD Gundam game, great. It had, you know, Universal Century. But this one, Wing, Seed, yeah. I think you know my feelings on those. Uh, wait a minute. Water Palace up. Uh, Kingdom of Pandora. Um, I can't go get Prim now. Like, you, you can just, like, the first time I ever played through this game, I didn't bother coming down here. I just went straight to the Water Palace. But if you come over here... Ow! Damn it. I don't think I knew that those flowers poisoned. Wow. But, bruh. Uh, okay, d double O is, is fine. I hope they have that weirdness come here from the sea. No, I, I, I got what you were saying. Double O is fine. But I don't like wing and I freaking hate seed. The question is then, which seed? And I just say, yes. I think they're both, both series are awful. I think it's one of the big reasons I'm like, oh, wait, I don't want to play uh, SRWJ. Why? Because the Gundam representation is frickin' seed. Grrr. I'd much rather have G than seed. At least G can make me giggle. And the characters are fine G for the most part. It's just kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> See, I'm at least going to check it out. But I will not give money to Seed if I can help it. <laughs> Yeah, this, this plays pretty decently with a analog stick. The official does says we can't let outsiders in. Oh, that's right, I can't get in yet. I thought. Do I have to get the go I have to get the goblin event first? God damn it! Stupid freaking poison. Like, poison is the worst thing you can get in this early part. Have I really never been poisoned by those things before? Maybe it's just been so long I don't remember. Mushroom gets swag, that means you land in a critical. Mmm! I'm playing Genesis back on my channel. I'm going for real board with uh, individual. Literally gets no views. Even Exit Fade gets views, and that's an unknown RPG making game. Oh, well, hmm. Well, the reason I'm not watching Indivisible is because I plan on playing it. So it's nothing against you. Like, I've, I've got a copy pre-ordered for the Switch, and there's something interesting about the Switch version. Um, like, I've, I've got it pre-ordered on Amazon, and it was like 40 bucks, right? But the cool thing about Amazon is if they lower the price at some point for whatever reason, even if it's through a goof-up, you get to keep that price. And through that before, I've saved like 5 or 10 bucks on games, so that's cool. Um, one day I checked on Indivisible, 
and it's not being sold anymore on Amazon, at least on Steam, or uh, on uh, Switch. I'm like, that's weird. I wonder why that is. I look at my orders history to see if it's still there. It's Not only is it still there, it apparently got lowered down to 15 bucks at some point. So, as long as I don't cancel that order, when it eventually comes out on Switch, I'll get, get it for 15 bucks. Hard copy. That is sweet. Pretty sure that was a screw-up. Ow! St okay, how have I still never been poisoned by these things? I just, I clearly just don't remember then. I should be charging my sword more. Oh, this is Nico's over here. Nick Cole. Uh, I'm gonna die. Okay, either, either it wore off in time or you can't die from poison. Wait, aren't you an inn? What do I have to say? I need something. What you got? Oh, okay. I was being super cheap. A hundred dollar backer and oh man, I'm sorry. So it's it's just kind of a boring game then, huh? It it looks cool. It reminds me a lot of Valkyrie Profile. My brother was like a $60 backer or something on Shinbu 3, and he's been very disappointed with it. I feel like I got off pretty great. I I, I did 125 bucks for Bloodstained, and I've been very happy with it. Although, to be fair, I guess I wouldn't be happy with it if I had the Switch version. Which, I do have the Switch version, but I bought it after the fact. Because it still needs to be patched. But the, the PC version of Bloodstained? Great. Like, out the gate, great. Two, three, two, now I have at least one candy, so I'm good. So just boring, huh? God, that sucks. Oh, whoops. It's only one defense, but it's one more than I had. And this does have save states, so... Like, I could just go... Uh, quick save. There we go. What? Ah, sometimes your chat can get interrupted. By different things. It can be uh, object collision. It can be an enemy attack. Whatever. It's a bummer when it happens. Going to the water balls, order. We came from Pandora to fight Eleni, the witch in the haunted forest. Yeah, this is the other end of the haunted forest. Can't do anything with it yet. I'm gonna go. Uh, you can't go over here yet, can you? If you can, you shouldn't be able to... Some forces hold us back. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I've tried that before. That's an important spot later. Hey, Gemma. Let's go, Randy. 
that's great. The stuff I got was great, but like I wasn't expecting to do Rocky Profile, and I don't know. Like I'm gonna make it a game I just need to finish. I want to post stuff I'm having fun doing. It's exactly the problem I was running into, right? So I, I feel you there. Um, like Impact is only less boring because I'm gonna be the only English less play of it. Yeah, Finish the SRW wiki for it. That's a that is a milestone for the greater SRW community. I wish I could say I did that. I mean, well, I kind of did, but I didn't like do a wiki or anything like that. I was the first person to LP SRW three, as far as I can tell. But it also was in English, or you know, translated. So, so now what? Hey, you. Where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Welcome. What? You mean this girl is 200 years old? Oh yeah, I talked to her. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings you news from around the world. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and monsters revived. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the mana sword. By defeating those evil creatures, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. It looks like it regains some power from the mantis ant. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release the stored power. This is heavy, man. Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world in the fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know, Gemma. See the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. Randy, you go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. Jorah's in that uh, live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about we uh, and know all about weapons. And they may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. Bye. Randy, what are you s so scared of? Um, the sword? This is pretty heavy, man. That is THE Mana Sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? Why did you choose me? Oh, you were the only idiot to fall down the waterfall. All Beavis and Butthead were just fine up top. I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. No way! Eons ago, the Ancients used their Mana Fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control Mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the sword to honor Mana. Randy, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power at first, or all is lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Who, me? That's impossible! Randy, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first, or all is lost. What should I do? You must go here as worthy of the sword. Okay. It's just, it's a but thou must thing. Okay. Okay. Enough. Hold the sword up to the scene. For a moment the scene and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana sea with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. Well, there's eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Take the spear with you. Mana guardians, guardians used it long ago. Yeah. It will grow and gain power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like, uh, like the spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Yeah! Was it your game? Uh huh. First, head for Gaia's navel, like Gemma said. 
Look for the underground palace. To each guy's navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. I'll restore you. Yeah! Nah, I'm good. Right then, so we have a spear. It's slightly stronger than our current sword. I'll change soon enough, but spear is a good weapon. I'm a big fan of spear. But at the end of the day, the only weapon that ultimately matters is the mana sword. So always make sure that your your sword skill level is topped off. If absolutely nothing else. Because the only weapon that'll hurt the, the final boss. And this thing has a little bit of reach. Pokey pokey. Ow! What's the goblin supposed to attack by now? Eh. So we'll go ahead and show show something. Um where is it? Uh no, level is what I'm looking for. There we go. This shows you how much experience you have uh and your your level in each weapon. So it was like 100 XP per level. I'm not sure exactly how the experience works, but basically once it gets to 100, you gain a level. For every level you have, it increases your attack power, and at least I think it increases your attack power. I do know for sure that it increases your um, uh, charge level, so uh, let, let, let's take a little, um, let's do an experiment. If you remember. Okay, attack 21, sure. Actually, I could just well, I could just look at the thing. See now my okay. Actually, the attack power is the same now. I love the spear. Pokey pokey. I can't ch cut down bushes though, so that sucks. Whoops. Only weapon that matters is punch. I mean, at least you can like throw stuff with punches, so or the glove weapon, so that's fun. And I want to say some weapon types are better against certain enemies, but not sure on that one. Uh oh. Okay, it's, it's over here that it happens. When do we get bazookas? <laughs> Out. Thought I have it over here. Mm, I'm I'm full of shit. There was supposed to be a goblin attack. I wonder, because there's a couple different ways you can go about things in the very beginning. Um, and we may have circumvented that. Okay, attack power doesn't change. Okay, so it's just your charge level. Toaster dog. <laughs> Wrong secret game. <laughs> Okay, there's like nothing going on in this town because everybody is, except for a few people, is like. It's just nothing but. It's, it's Squall Town. Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII fans fight me. Final Fantasy VIII is trash. Uh, boy can't use it. Only girl. <laughs> girl. 
You know, I've never actually played through Evermore myself. Um, I've seen it played, and I've, I've played a bit of it, but, like, not all the way through. Talk to me. Nothing. I said not worth it to really talk to anybody. Although... So we can't still get Prim then, can we? Or is the Goblin attacking supposed to happen yet? I could have sworn it was supposed to happen by now. It, it's been a while, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've even seen a speedrun or something of this. Hi Prim. Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about, about my life. Look out. Oi! She might be in one of the houses now. She could... Uh, it's possible for her to join you there, I think. I'm probably getting a lot of details mixed up. I'm almost positive that I am. Kind of reminds me of when I was doing the Telesophonia LP, which, by the way, I, maybe I'll go back to that someday, but... I'm still butthurt over what happened with that emulator. I mean, it's probably much better now. But if I were to do it, it'd be the PC version. With a mod that helps increase the frame rate. I don't normally complain about frame rate in a game, as long as it's, you know, playable or whatever. And had I never played um, Tales of Symphonia in its original 60 FPS, I wouldn't have minded it. But it's like, why can the GameCube do this at that speed? But, like, the PS3 can't. The PC can't without mods. And even then, it's not 60. It's, like, it's better, but it's not, like, perfect. I keep forgetting I can dash. Is she supposed to be in one of the houses? I'm, I might be totally wasting my time. Yeah, it's all for something stupid because I don't get to keep her long anyway. Like she, she only temporarily joins for now. Like the first time I went through the game, like I said before, I didn't even know that you could recruit her for a little bit. Well, getting at the ruins south of the town. Oh. A lot of things have been happening here ever since. Grandma goes there. I guess I'm wrong, or I'm looking in the wrong spots. Either or is totally viable for me. Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything. Ah. Weird sort of power walk he has. He kind of hunched over a little bit and just swinging his arms like, ah, Come on, come on, fight me! Ah. This is the ruins. She shouldn't be down here. You don't know she has a connection to the ruins. Or if, at least a connection to, you know, Want to figure out why people are going nuts over here being creepy cultists. I like how half the town like runs around in their pajamas. It's like modern day America. Don't get me wrong. Pajamas are quite comfortable, but I mean, dress up a little bit. The worst I'll do is I won't put on house shoes, but I will put on, like, moccasins. That's, that's close enough to an actual shoe. 
And that's just when I'm going like out for like a, a tiny bit. Hey man, if it was good for the, good enough for the Native Americans, it's good enough for me. I like moccasins. It's like a house shoe that lets you keep your dignity. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, honestly, it, it, it honestly keeps my feet warm. I'll wear them out in the snow. I don't even need socks. If wearing socks with moccasins is weird. Random subject that nobody cared about. But, you know. It all stemmed from my little pajama thing. I don't remember the sound channels waking out this much on the original SNES version, but I could be wrong. It's a common problem with older games, so, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if it had always been there, I just don't remember it. Oi! Dick. Think about doing Trials of Man at some point also, but I mean, one thing at a time. That's kind of the big problem I ran into before, is trying to do too much at one time. And it has to be something I know I'm going to love doing, like Secret of Mana here. Because like, if I were to stop playing this one, I'd be like, oh, maybe I just need to stop LPs, period. I need to be absolutely sure before I do something, not just do something on a whim. Like, because this has been brewing for a few days, like, you know, the whole, I'm listening to the Secret of Man soundtrack, and like, oh, I remember how good this was, and then I actually went out and bought the, a hard copy of the, the soundtrack, and now a few days after that, um, here I am, uh, LPing Secret of Mana. Yeah, I'll try to swing by, man. I gotta go back to work tonight, but I mean, uh, depending on when you're when you're streaming, I could probably stop by for a little bit. So uh, have fun and try not to work too hard. It's working hard for suckers. <laughs> it's amazing like, how lazy I feel I am, but somehow people where I work find a way to be way lazier. It's really embarrassing. I'm not sure if it's more embarrassing for them or if it's more embarrassing for me. Because here I am being a sucker actually working. Well, not right now, but you know what I mean. Or should I be more ashamed of the fact that they can out-lazy me? I don't like that. It's unappreciated. I wish reason skill level would actually increase your attack power. Be a nice little motivation to get more stuff. Or, well, you're gonna be working on it anyway, I guess. Still. I don't use charge attacks nearly as much as I should. This is Kippo Village. Nothing else to see here. Then there's a store here. I don't know why all shopkeepers are dancing men with turbans, but whatever. They freaking love their jobs. <laughs> I wish I was that excited about my job. Sure, let's buy a chain vest. Go for a little bit longer, and then they're gonna cut.
cut off the video. Whoops. Then we'll do another hour before I have to call it quits. Ooh, that's a big increase. My son Delek's been too busy to visit me. Yeah, I heard about the kingdom. It's too late back here. So Dillick was the dude that was in front of a bunch of troops earlier. And is a, a fairly important character in the plot, at least in terms of uh, motivation for one of the characters. This is my home. The missus is upstairs. Is this supposed to be like a Jamaican thing? My husband's brothers all look alike. Yeah. Are you sure you got the right one right now? Oh. That's another thing. There's a lot of women that run around in like like skimpy dancer gear. It's weird. Come here. Oh. That's the thing I hate about the first level of Spirit Attack. It's too much wind up. It's very easy to get interrupted. Screw you. my attack well, I guess it did stand <laughs> punches on the ground like oh look at him oh 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 you can't see it now oi bugs don't have bones That's silly this they shouldn't if they do something's really wrong they have exoskeletons that keep all their organs inside. Or whatever. Yep, it just doesn't... Mm. At least against some enemies. It's not so great. I could switch back to the sword and just use that charge attack, but why? This spear is great otherwise. So you may notice that we don't always take damage or even get touched even though it looks like we do. It's just a random chance of evading. Well, I mean, it's not totally random. There is like a percentage. Like, um... Yeah, eight, if, if eight percentage, yeah. Which is pretty high. Isn't that number actually borked? I forget. It's like really high. Yeah, I can't remember if, if this game has broken stat numbers or not. Like, you know how some stats just don't mean a thing. Like, in Final Fantasy VI, a lot of them don't really work. Or Final Fantasy I, whatever. This is... Oi! Unforced, yeah, you don't need to go that way yet. Yeah, 
yeah, it makes you spiral all the damn way around. It's slightly annoying. Now, I'll get back here. I'm a little tired, that's weird. I didn't sleep that well, though, so I guess that makes sense. I have to go to the hospital this morning. Yeah. Nah, looking forward to that. It's only gonna be like 20 minutes. Well, once I actually get in for my appointment there, it's only 20 minutes. But still. I have to actually get dressed like a human being and go out. Meh. there. Once we get inside, we'll stop for now. At least cut off the video. Wait, this is, uh, yeah, this is just where Nico is. It, yeah, this is the back route to the, the village. A strange place, per. You find Nico all over the place. I know he said for a second I'll even buy the game. <laughs> We got some chocolates. Oh, mm. Okay. With that, we'll cut it off for now and look into the video start here in a little bit. So, thank you folks for watching and uh, catch you next time.